Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Um, we got a trade we finna do right now. They can have Darius. We taking Mitchell Robinson. Seven foot seven. Yes sir. We definitely gonna do that. And another dude I want to trade for. Or add to the team was. Oh, I was looking at this one too. I like this one too. Lonzo Ball. You know what I'm saying? Mmm. Mmm. Shade a better player, though. Yeah. Most definitely. Yeah. So we ain't gonna do this, but this night is what I want to trade for. Mmm. What y'all think? Should we do it? I don't know. We gonna do it and see. We we gonna we gonna do it. Do we got a backup point guard? How old are you 20? Well, yeah, he can run back up and go up for the first year. For the first year, he can run back up and go up. And, uh, this the game, the first game, y'all already done saw that. But we beat the Rockets and the Seven Sisters. Today we playing the Warriors, so yeah, I'll catch y'all in that one. the tip all right let's check out the starting group for the thunder we've got mitchell robinson shea gilgis alexander is out there with alexei pokashevsky and it's d in at the small forward here's d banked it in off the glass and a new looking class to watch here early in the season Greg, how long should we wait to evaluate a rookie's play well, you have to give them a pass their whole first year. It just takes a minute to adjust and acclimate. And a lot depends on the age of the rookie as well. And the Warriors with possession here. Following the bucket by the Thunder. Shot from the low block. And that one's good. That makes him two for three. Yeah, he's going to work early on the offensive glass. He's so amped up. Wow, he's coming out with a lot of energy tonight. He's looking strong. Now here's Curry. Wiggins, left side. Releases from 15. And so it looks like the Warriors will retain possession here. The Warriors trailing. Curry and Thompson are the one and the two. James Wiseman is out there with Otto Porter. And it's Wiggins in at the three slot. That's the Warriors five. On the wing, Thompson from the arc. D pulls it in. And the Thunder shooting 41% in this game. And down it goes. Jam that one home. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. The coaching staff has to be upset. You can't give the opposition easy baskets like this. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. You just missed it. 
Pass to D. The three is up. Counted from distance. Nine points in the game. His offensive skill set is off the charts. He has more than a few ways to punish. Curry passes to Wiseman. Thunder foul. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Just over a minute has passed here in the second quarter. Wiseman, a screen on Gilgis Alexander. Curry's shot is off. It's not easy to keep him from converting those. I mean, the D has to be airtight. Yeah, B.A., and the casual fans know Curry. It's, it's just a great offensive threat. I mean, he's much more than that. Though. Very close to a complete player on the floor. D gets the bucket. And now an 11-point Oklahoma City lead. And, and so it's the Oklahoma City Thunder. They lead by 11 as the quarter comes to a close. They know Curry can go for 50, 60 any night. So they're forcing someone else to beat him. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks a lot, guys. Head coach Steve Kerr here with us now. Coach, what do you want to see from this team in the second half? Well, we got to make some stops and get a little traction in this game. I mean, we fell behind right away. And uh, so let's make a push the first four or five minutes, get back in the game. Thank you, Coach. Thanks very much, Allie. And folks, we'll be right back to start the second half of this game. Thanks for stopping by, y'all. First up on the show tonight, a quick look ahead of some upcoming games on the docket. And for their matchup with the Clippers, you love these types of battles. Sort of a toss-up, because the talent is similar. Hard to predict who will rise to the challenge, but I guarantee you it's going to be fun to watch. Okay, and let's talk first half now. What a performance from Shea Gilgis-Alexander. You got to love how consistent his shooting has been, making the most of every single touch. The defense is going to have a hard time slowing him down. And when he's this committed to making the plays, lights out. Thanks for tuning in. Now we head back to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. Alexander, Alexei Pokashevsky is out there with Mitchell Robinson, and it's Giddy in at the two spot. Wiggins passes to Curry. Oh, he gets it to fall, and that makes it just a single-digit deficit. Curry's got five points. The shooting motion is so impeccable. Curry's long ball is one of the pretty shots. And James Wiseman gets the whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. First team foul. Here's D, pounded by Wiggins. And there's the drive. Okay, big man. Hammer and home. Ooh, showing some athleticism right there. He still knows how to finish. Yeah, we see it here. When he does get aggressive, the result can be powerful. Curry passes to Wiseman. Here's Kaminga. Nine points in the game. Outside Curry from outside the arc. Another three for Golden State. Backing up that last three with another three. The defense has to stop giving them so many clean looks. With a break here, let's see which teams racked up the assists during last year's campaign. The Warriors, number one. It was a joy to watch these guys play. Constant ball movement and player movement. Def Now Wiseman to the inside. Payton. No good with a layup. They've been dominating the boards tonight, yet it's still a close game. Dort with it. Payton covering to take the lead. Takes it inside. Ooh, rejected by Wiseman. And be careful trying to shoot around Wiseman. His lift. He's still a shot block. He just makes it a piece. That's his fifth. Now he's going to be walking. Substitution on the court. Here's Dort, off the inbound pass. It's rebounded by Golden State. Wiseman's got nine rebounds now. Pass 
to Curry. And Gilgis Alexander with a block. Dort left side. Here's D. Up and in on the layup. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. Yeah, that's why he's hot. He's playing with a lot of confidence. That's, that's, that's why they're going to him with such consistency. Ladies and gentlemen, your Dominga, he's checked in for the Warriors. Wiggins comes in for Peyton. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. During that break, Coach Steve Kerr had some advice for the team. He loves what he's seeing from their perimeter offense. He told the team, quote, keep shooting. It's working for us. Let's bring this home. Back to you. All right, appreciate it, Allie. And it's Wiseman missing. Even when the D is playing off of a mid-range jumper, shouldn't be the shot they're looking for. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Two minutes remaining in the game. Gilgis Alexander on the wing. Here's D, pounded by Wiggins. Shot clock at five. Oklahoma City's got to hurry. They got to get up a shot. Ooh, Thompson with the block. Nice aggressive defense from Thompson. Getting all over the shot. Knocking it over. And here are the Warriors now. They're on a 15 to 6 run. Gilgis Alexander against Curry. The three from Thompson, and it's good. Assisting on the play was Curry. Curry's got his third assist of the night. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. But it had to be these days. You need to stretch the floor somewhat to make everything else work. The Warriors leading. The three from Curry. Another three for Golden State. And their strategy is obvious. Manufacture looks from outside the arc. You see more teams doing this now. We all are firmly entrenched in the era of the three ball. Right wing. Here's D, pounded by Wiggins. Outside for Gilgis Alexander. Pass to D. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Here's D, pounded by Wiggins. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Basketball. And for the Warriors, they're shooting at even 50% since the fourth quarter got underway. Curry against Gilgis Alexander. They set a pick. Pass to Wiggins. Three-pointer. Another three for Golden State. And they just continue to attack, even late in the game, while they're up big. And it's not about running up the score. It's about closing the door on any kind of comeback. Well, it's all about the assist on that play. He puts it in the perfect spot. And an intentional foul right there. And now they decide to foul intentionally. So the first one drops. And that makes it a seven-point lead. He's a soft spoken. Curry lets his play do the talking. I love how he lets the game come to him so naturally. Here's D, hounded by Wiggins. Pass to D. From nine feet out. Ooh, rejected by Wiseman. And he commits the intentional foul. And you know what? We'll give them some credit for battling today, but this one is just about over. He hits the first one, and that'll put him up by nine. And so he makes both from the line. Well, with a chance to ice the game, he's got perfect focus at the line. Now, you could put this one in the books. From deep, Gilgis Alexander. Pokashevsky. Here's D. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Uh, who knows what this score would look like if he wasn't on his game tonight. And so the Warriors take the win. A competitive game. You have to feel like this crowd gave him a little extra edge. Yeah, they really fed off the energy. You saw their activity level go up. Just a tremendous performance. Well, now a minute to check in with Ali LaFork. All right, Ali, thank you. And that about wraps it up. For Chris Webber, Grant Hill, and Ali...